now we are going to look into encoding problems into a reasoning problems and uh, solving the problems using constraint solver so we will look at a particular solver which is called z3 it is a uh, one kind of sm solver what it does it takes a formula as input and tells you it's a sat or unsat formula if satisfiable we may ask for a satisfying assign and it provides an interface in c plus plus and python and this python interface is very important to us we will be writing our code in python and running this tool as a library the tool can be installed using this command in ubuntu 18.04 if you're using later version for example 20.04 we have not tested it most likely this command will work now let's see how we are going to use this solver and use as a library so we assume that you have installed it we will import in a file and show you how it is going to work now we are going to look at the z3 interface for python if you want to import z3 library you need to write this sentence and say that from z3 import star and that loads the all the z3 api functions in your context then you can use z3 functions for example here is one thing which declares a variable p1 so this is the name of the variable okay? so in z3 system you are saying i want going to create a variable p1 and you can refer to the variable by this python name p1 uh, we could have written the name x here but it still meant the variable name is p1 note the distinction between the python name and the variable name occurs inside the z3 library okay let's continue calling it p5 p1 once you have variables what you can do you can declare formulas for example you can say or of these two variables this or function is also coming from z3 api it allows you to take two formulas and take the r of them and produce another formula which is we call phi next you can do uh, let's see what you can do we can print this formula and if you print this formula this formula get printed uh, in your in your standard output so you, when you're building formulas you can construct them and check them uh, how they look okay? now the important concept is uh, constructing a solver so so far you are creating the formula now you need to tell this uh, your solver which formula to solve you may have created lots of formulas so you allocate a solver so this is the act of allocating a solver you create called s equals to solver and then you add the formula into the solver so once you add a formula into solver the solver becomes aware of the formula that you want to solve this formula next thing you can do to check for the satisfiability of the formula it will tell you the set of formula that has been added to your solver are they sat or not so, and that gives you an answer yes or no yeah so this will be stored here you can look at it okay so we can just uncomment this part and see if it returns sat it means it is satisfiable otherwise unsatisfiable we have saved this script in a file called class.py and we are going to uh, see how it is going to run okay? so let's suppose we run python 3 and give the file name class.py and see if we run it it printed the formula then it gives you sat or unsat next uh, we're going to see that we can also see the value of the satisfying assignment that was achieved when you got the sat output so what you can do we can comment this this part and see this another code let us look at this program in this program if you found a formula to be sat you can read the model the current model and uh, print the model let's see in our system what would be the output now you can see that the p2 is assigned to false and p1 is assigned to true and that's the one way of making this formula true let's comment this part again and uh, let's see what we can do 
can package all this creation of solver and checking the satisfiability and picking the model in one function and let's call it solve function what the solve does it takes the formula phi as in creates a solver adds the phi into that solver checks the satisfiability gets the model and prints the model otherwise it says unsatisfiable okay so what we can do we can uncomment this part and see what happens so you can see that uh, now I am checking this uh, p1 and p2 and then it is giving me sat on this one okay, so that gets printed sat okay, so let's uh, comment this part again and keep this uncommented what we can do we can traverse also the formulas okay so we may want to process a formula do substitution things like that so you want to know what is inside the formula so you can actually go and look inside the formulas for example i can say that what is my first argument of the formula or the second argument so it index zero and one are there let's see try to print them again you can see i can print uh, p1 and p2 furthermore we may want to look at what is the top symbol setting on a formula so how do we get access to that so the trick is to first access the declaration of that symbol just by saying p1 underscore p2 dot tackle so it gives you the object that represents that symbol then you pick the string that gives it the name so let's pick the name and then you compare the name against any other string which you suspect it to be so if it is an and then you'll say comparing is and and then you can say print like found an end okay let's see if we try to run the algorithm and see how it runs if you print it you see that it found uh, the top symbol to be an a and in this discussion we have uh, learned how to import z3 library how to create formulas how to create variables how to create a solver get a model from the solver if satisfiable and how to traverse the formula